What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Washington football team franchise and of course we just came off of our week one win 39 to 27 and we do have a lot of changes. Bryce Love reportedly fans were coming to his house and stealing his apples and writing mean notes like wow rude wearing number 21 with Sean Taylor in our history. So of course he moves to number 35 like real life because Oh, no, dude, it's weird. It's a weird number. We have some other uh, number changes as uh, Darby goes to 23 and Fuller moves to 29. Now, I don't normally have like a funny little joke for, oh, like and subscribe if you want uh, the Washington Redskins to get it together. Oh, I'm the Washington football team to get it together. And But damn it. <laughs> I get a real team name. I can't believe I said that. But maybe leave a like and subscribe. The freaking support on these have been amazing. I've been trying to keep up with the comments and it is tough. I might honestly make it a 24 hour window after that. Your comment might not get read. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's just so many. It's tough. I really appreciate the support. It's meant a lot. Maybe follow me on Twitter at Jerome P. Care. And then also twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care. I think Will we do a video tonight. Might, might do a stream tonight at like 9 p.m. Central. Maybe a rebuild. I don't know. But yeah, I appreciate it. Enough of that. Episode 3 of Washington Franchise is coming right at you right now. Of course, this is what the team looks like. In a moment, we are about to sim, and maybe we see a potential breakout scenario for Mr. Well, guys, to be fair, there's a couple of guys. Terry McLaurin could get one, but Thaddeus Moss is the obvious choice. I should have talked to the DT thing, and unfortunately, no breakout scenario in week two, which is really shocking because, once again, Thaddeus Moss played out of his mind. He might have even had player of the week. He really should have, and he didn't. Wow. Uh, the NFC side goes to the freaking Buccaneers. Tom Brady, four touchdowns. Very, very good game in fairness. Shaquille Barrett, three sacks. I mean, good stuff, but Thaddeus Moss had three receiving touchdowns and over 100 yards. Like, what, 100, 150 as a tight end? That's harsh. And this might be something we do for this franchise for a while, or maybe even the whole series. We might just go into practice and do a new practice every single uh, week. Just, you know, I think it, it makes sense. You got to get that practice in. And of course, we need those medals. Of course, you know, at the same time, we don't, <laughs> I don't need that much help, you know. We are now running the Smash concept. Thaddeus Moss is a guy that we obviously trust very well because, you know, he had a really good week one. Obviously, nothing set in stone that could have just been the luckiest game of of anyone's career. Oh, please catch this. They are not ready. I don't know if this is a good thing for us or a bad thing. Pass rush isn't really getting to us. The coverage down field's terrible. Maybe that's the reason, though. We're trying to, trying to test the guys. Bryce Love is open to the outside, and he gets it. You got to remember, this team has some fast uh, players. So, you know, beating Sweat, even though he's not a great coverage linebacker, is still impressive. And there goes Sims. We need one more for the goal. Please tell me we don't need a first down because we're terrible with first downs. We need a first down, damn it. To the out route. Damn it, we're going to lose this. And Moss holds on. Thankfully, it's practice because the difficulty is basically on rookie. We will probably hold on to that for XP. <laughs> there we go. So we get a gold medal this week. Uh, and then now we're trying to defend the run, which is obviously a huge struggle for us. We did all right last week, but we're going to face teams with better rushing attacks than the Eagles. They have a great line, and uh, Sanders is great. However, there are a lot better in the league. And right now Chase Young is the uh, playing like coverage linebacker there. I don't know if we're like sitting in a 4-3 defense for this, for this look. And here, I mean, this is tough. You have to stop them. We're getting a touchdown, but, it, I mean, it's the same difference, right? Like, we're, we're just not going to be able to do it. That's very tough. I don't know. The glow of the colors looks nice. Ruben, um, we probably shouldn't be hit-sticking our teammates. You do realize they're wearing... I don't know, dude. Do what you want. You killed him. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, hit him harder because uh, he doesn't want to go down right away. <laughs> Please hit him harder. Please don't let him in. Land, in. Land a big hit on him. No! Yes! Ruben Foster, you legend. He had so many plays like that in week one as well. You can tell that the practices are definitely helping him out. Apke going to blow up the gap, and he gets it. So we automatically have a star on this drill. Practice so far looking very good, and we're looking at a really good spot. A fourth and seven. 
and we get a gold. He's cutting it back. He finds a little bit of room, but the D-line is too much. And we perfect this week in practice, which, of course, automatically means we're going to choke it out on the field. All right, so the offensive coordinator has some worries about Chandler Jones, and I do as well. Uh, we definitely need to slow him down, but honestly, we got to keep it real. There's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do. We have to hold him to under... Is that have one or fewer? So, so one turnover or less. I think we could definitely manage that. Strong arm, probably not the most important thing for us, but I want to keep that scheme fit. He gets two under pressure and an awareness, which is a bit of a yikes if I'm going to be 100% honest. As far as Gandy Golden goes, I don't think deep threat is the biggest need, but if we can get a speed or an Excel, Acceleration's nice too. 89 Excel, definitely uh, get him going. A lot of people have been suggesting to maybe put him at tight end, which I can definitely see. If we struggle with Thaddeus Moss, maybe we do. Terry McLaurin, though, with the obvious upgrade of the week. One Excel, one speed, and he gets a plus one to each of the route runnings as well, which is a massive upgrade. That is huge stuff. And for the final thing, before we actually get into some real gameplay, we move Jonathan Allen and Ioannidis to the opposite sides as because they complained and said, uh, are you new around here? Which, of course, Ron responded with, I literally am. <laughs> we played the opposite sides in real life, so maybe d do that. Thank you. Okay. Here we are about to get an in-depth in look at the improved Cardinals team. They had a very good offseason. Uh, this this Washington team's offseason off was solid, too, but Arizona definitely made some big changes, added a lot of talent, and uh, we're, we're going to struggle. It's going to be a struggle fest, especially in the receiving game. They've got too many great players comparatively to our defense, I think, for us to really dominate them, so... Here's the hoping that our game plan works, and it's definitely going to be a good fight, and hopefully we come out on top. Of course, both teams, I believe, at 1-0. and oh. Kyler Murray, a guy you definitely have to worry about super fast, can make good decisions, has a good strong arm. Would you look at Dwayne Haskins? You know, a little strugglesome out the gate, a couple of picks, but made some really good throws, some big-time throws, and the offense is capable. Can the defense hold on? Last week was pretty much the opposite of that case. It was really the offense that was kind of struggling. The defense was giving him many opportunities. Last week, of course, Thaddeus Moss, 105 yards, three touchdowns. Definitely going to be limiting our, our deep plays this game. It's definitely going to be a bit of a shorter game. I don't know if we're even going to find a single deep shot just with him back there. It's going to be hard to take that look against a six foot four guy that pretty much can keep up with every single player on your damn roster kyler murray's week one uh very inaccurate definitely very inaccurate i would say he was lucky to get away with zero interceptions in game one 18 for 47 is not a good look i will say if he has 47 attempts against us this week it is not going to be a good one chase young gets beat in underneath gonna miss the tackle with davis taken down by aaron colvin gotta love the the, the, the shininess of these uniforms. I know we already said it, but I like it. I like it a lot. They're going to double-team chase. Smart decision. Colvin and company get in there. He only gains a yard, so good play on that one. All right, we see Montez sweat in coverage very fast. Can get the job done, and then Chase is going to be covering, uh, running on the other side. Gets the swim. They force the throw early. Trying to get that ball out as Fuller. Smart choice, but going to leave them with a third and five. Going to sit in some man coverage now. Andy Isabella definitely has a favorable matchup there. Chase Young gets stopped, and like we said, that inside look, it was Fuller in the end, but the inside over there looked a little vacant. Or is it, is, is it no vacant? I don't know, dude. It looked open. <laughs> Simply put, who is that? Is that a tight end? Trying to swim outside. Chase gets beat, and Kyler Murray going to take off. He probably could have slid a little later. Definitely wanting to keep himself healthy. I get that, but still. We're going to bring five on this play. Ruben Foster on the inside. Can't get the job done. Fuller kind of getting burned this game. I know. Like, I know maybe he needed some help over there because Sweat was probably supposed to drop back. But, I don't know. Fuller's kind of struggling. Definitely definitely worrisome from Fuller. He's obviously the star corner now. Chase Young in trouble. And they're still just keeping us down the field. Man coverage, zone coverage does not matter it's down to the seven now we're gonna run a man blitz because we're just not getting there in time they are throwing the ball quickly though so i don't even know if pressure is really gonna help and what a cutback inside for is that burke young man gets the touchdown all right first drive 
A little bit back, and the first throw is picked again. We keep testing elite corners and a face mask on top of it. The first throw has just been brutal for us. Trusting the receiver, they're open, I feel, and then as soon as we release it, the corner breaks back on the ball, and it's just a terrible one. Don't get me wrong. It's a spectacular play made by the corner, jumping as high as he can, but we just got to get that ball there. And that should have been picked by Thomas Davis. Got to get us that pick, pal. And gets another inside look. We're now down by what would appear to be 14. I think we learned our lesson. No, no throwing on the first play of the game. <laughs> We're just going to run. Inside, Bryce getting some room. Gains about 12. Got to be careful. Got to gotta be careful. Especially, gotta, you know, got to know your matchup, really. That's a quick throw and almost picked. I don't know if it was a high throw, but Terry was definitely open. And we didn't come down with it at all. Thaddeus, and that is terribly thrown. Another interception, and guess who? Isaiah Simmons, third interception of the game. The second th interception of the game, third touchdown of the game. Definitely not the game we wanted to have out here in Arizona. Going to take the short throw underneath. Andy Golden with a nice truck stick. Gains about 13 so far. The only completion of the game. Definitely worrisome. The, uh, the, the Cardinals definitely have an improved defense. It's not over by any means, but we're going to have to start finding uh, more players open. And obviously defense is going to have to step up majorly, especially with offense struggling like it has. The pressure is so high here, though. And there you go. Nice little secondary play. Avoiding Chandler Jones. Really good coverage on that outside, but we brought the extra blocker and they didn't really rush many. So we had time and it worked out. Got to be careful of this because this could be a blitz, which I would actually prefer. But if they drop back like they did, you find Thaddeus to the outside. Play it smart, you know. Make sure you get the feet down, get the yards. Going back underneath, got the pulling guard. Bryce Love gets a decent bit of blocks. He's actually going to try and get it all the way out, and he does for the first down. Hand off right up the middle with Gibson. They look like they might actually be able to squeeze this, but if the blocks win, which they do, and what a play by Devondre Campbell as that was a touchdown saving tackle. Of course, defense getting mad at each other, but really it's been about the offense or lack thereof. You can take Sprinkle who gets the catch and is going to score. Holy crap, I did not think he had it in him, but Jeremy Sprinkle with the touchdown first of the day, first of his season, and there we go. Huge bounce back drive. All right, Sweat and uh, Chase Young switching on this third and 10. Maybe we'll get some more luck there. And good old Kyler Murray is going to run, and he did give himself up early. I think we need to be going for the block here because this could be a fake. It's not. That is surprising. I'm telling you, Kyler Murray. Fa fair catch? No. Thank God Love didn't fumble. But I'm telling you, I think the Hask uh, Haskins, Murray's definitely sliding early. And that, obviously, without a doubt, proves it. Like, without a doubt. I like the. F I, I don't like the fact that Chandler's over there, but I think that's the side you run to. And he does chase us back inside. We get about three. All right, Terry McLaurin is a guy that I'd be looking to look at. I'm, I would be looking to look at him. Moss is the guy that's going to get it, though. It's going to be a dink and dime play kind of game. I told you it was going to be a shorter game this uh, this week, I feel, just with their safety play. Really good play out there by uh, good old Jordan Hicks, who got burned on the touchdown. But we pretty much were had, you know, pretty much had to throw it there. Second and 15, we got an audible here. We can't want it to run, but you know, the situation isn't calling for it. Play action look, and Gandy gets open, and unfortunately... Pressure is too much. Third and 15 now, start of the second quarter. We now have what they call the deep curl. I'm going to slant Goldie, Golden, maybe move Love out, and then wheel him. Hopefully we get the blocks. We might be able to get this first. Not really. Under pressure again. Kind of just chucked it in there and just no one really too open. Looking at another third and long. Both teams kind of hitting a wall here. Obviously we hit the wall from the very get-go. Montez Sweat chasing him down, and there's nobody in sight as Kyler Murray is going to run for about 21, 22 yards. 
Doesn't fumble either. That is harsh. I really don't want a QB freaking contain, but we might have to. Ionitis inside. Going to take the double team. You got to bring him down with that tackle. I don't know who that is. I think it's Davis again. We're bringing five players. More of a run stop type of look, but... Oh, my Lord. Fuller. It's man coverage. You got to stop him. And Ionitis take this double team. Oh, my. Burns him. Sweat runs up quickly and... Gets him for a pretty uh, pretty minimal game. Obviously, every touchdown they score, our chance diminishes. We go for the spin outside. Darby misses hard. Hopkins, just so elusive. He, he doesn't even make it. He just makes it look easy. Arizona's offensive line is holding up really well as well. And they're going for these quick throws. We're just not defending the outside at all. We're going for the flat coverage, but something tells me they're going to run. Do we just run commit here? We're run committing. We run commit, and he still almost breaks it free. Gains a yard. It's third and one now. You have to blitz. All right, boys, they still have a look to pass, but what can you do? You got to go for the run. And Kyler's going to be taken down by Ruben Foster. Good play. Definitely thought he was going to miss there. He kind of slipped out of there, and a bunch of bodies got there. Good stuff. Colvin tries to jump, can't get it. They gain a field goal. Five minutes in the second. We have to score something on this drive. Going to go with shallow cross. Terry McLaurin would love to get him involved. He might change this up a little bit. Gandy Golden over the middle, and then Thaddeus Moss right down Main Street. No real juke ability, but a nice gainer there for 20 plus. And we gain about five. It's really a tough decision. Do you want to score quick enough to maybe get the ball back? Defense hasn't been playing well, but they've been improving. Do you want the last score? I feel like we should probably just aim for the last score here. And we get stuck hard there. And there, there's just nobody. I mean, nobody's really open for one. But two, there's just nobody blocking. They're telling us to go for it, and I'm, I'm in agreement. This is a do-or-die moment in the game already. Do you block Thaddeus, or do you drag him out here and involve him in the play? I think you involve him. And he's open. He catches it first down. Clutch, clutch. It's been a tough one today. It's been real tough. And Terry McLaurin, please make a play, and it's swatted, thankfully. Chandler Jones making it tough on us. It's just not easy to see the field when uh, Chandler Jones is burning us. I, I can't double-team him, though, because... Someone else is probably going to go open. I don't know. Maybe we should double team him. Gibson finding room gets about 15. Got to gotta run the ball more, man. It's working. It's really working. All right, Bryce up the middle on the ground. Got to take it back inside, find some room, and guess who? Chandler Jones, but a gain of about, what, four? Get this through the two-minute warning, waste some more clock. That Moss route looks interesting, but it's also a very scary one. Speaking of scary, Mr. Terry McLaurin, quick throw in between, and he drops the ball. Simmons knocks it out. That's just not a pass you can drop. McLaurin's got to hold on there. Timing throw and intercepted. How in the world does Jordan Hicks get that pick? Another example of the defender wanting the ball more than our guy. I know Sims kind of risked his life there, but that's harsh. How does he hold on when he gets hit? Oh, invisible. Back-to-back -back weeks with three interceptions. If I'm not mistaken, back-to-back -back weeks with three interceptions in the first half. We bring the house, and he still gets away. Juke moves inside, but he fumbles the ball. Who has it? Jonathan Allen deep down the field recovers the fumble. Kyler with a terrible decision. We need that help from Moss. Play action look. Throw it away. And that's apparently a flag on us. Nice. Brought the help with Moss and it just wasn't enough. Gonna go to Terry McLaurin who, hey, he caught the ball. Wow, good play, dude. About time. Terry McLaurin, I don't even know if I trust Haskins to try and make this play. So let's get love on the outside there if we can. Slant. And good try on the throw, but once again, even with the double team over there, it's just not enough. Chandler burns us instantaneously. This could be a GG. This very well could be a GG. They're moving down the field almost instantly. We're missing tackles left and right. 
and they're gonna I mean they're gonna get a field goal here wiping away our field goal that's just a first half that pretty much every player should be ashamed of mainly the right tackle though we luckily get the ball to start the second half but this is a steep task Bryce Love maybe can uh, lessen it can't let you slip away gets to the 22 there's still a lot of time though so we're gonna try to run the ball we definitely need to just get a score on this drive more important than anything doesn't really matter the speed and running right into uh, Buda Baker there. They got some good safeties. Zone peak, which I'm not really a huge fan of. But it works. Sims gets it down to about the 50. You know, Coach trusting Haskins still. Those three picks are rough. Maybe he's got some, uh, some questions in the future for Alex Smith, who's getting healthier each week. But for right now, it's still the Haskins show. And... Gibson up the middle has been getting some blocks. He's been getting some blocks, hitting the hole, and right now he's looking good. Running inside with Bryce. They're pretty much ready for the run, but we're just going to take it as fast as we can, get about three. So the thing is, we haven't had a lot of time to let plays develop because of freaking Chandler Jones, but we can get this in behind for Gandy Golden. Ooh, maybe Sims. How in the world? Patrick Peterson was beat. I don't know if the throw is just behind him, but that was... That was quite interesting. I'm gonna move Terry McLaurin inside so we have a little bit more room on that throw. Maybe predetermined a little bit and he holds on. Thank you, Terry. Didn't make up for the touchdown at all because that was a, what, 10, 7, maybe 14 point swing. Taking a lot of time to audible these players, but Moss and dropped. Wow. That Isaiah Simmons is quite a fast fella inside and they're not in position i don't understand like how long his arms are but hicks is not in position for the ball there how does he get a hand here i don't understand was it just a drop crap throw it away crap they blood they just brought everyone back to cover the first down marker which sucks but field goal time down by 14 there is a flag there is a flag. They're going to say roughing the kicker. I did see someone dive late. And that could be the break we've been looking for. I want to run the read op, but they're literally covering the read op side like so hard. Love is going to fall forward for almost the first down. Maybe a QB draw. It is a first down. Never mind. A couple of outs. Let's see what we can do. Sit down there and Gandy Golden gets the touchdown. There we go. A huge play after the flag on the field goal. We're now down 10. We're at second and nine. Defense needs to get mad. They need to get mean. Hell, they get, need to get even. Take the ball away. Screen pass. Chase. In the chase. They're going to gain a few, but not much. So third and six now. Going for the blitz. Drop Sweat back. Maybe bring him over here. It's another screen. And he gets it off Sweat. Can't get there, and the blocks are perfect. Cuts inside all the way to the 42-yard line. Bad time to run a blitz, I guess, as they go for yet another screen, and it works again. Looks like it could be a potential run, and they will. He cuts it outside, but taken down expertly by Deron Payne. Could go a little bit of man coverage. Got to trust our players on the edges. Sweat gets there. And Foster brings him down. Nice, nice. Is that a sack? And it's not. It's a run, but who cares? Had his guy on the outside. I thought he's gonna throw that. Luckily, Foster was there. Maybe impeded his vision, honestly. It's obviously it's tough when you see a big guy like him coming at you. Ionitis hits him. And a huge hit by Ruben. Is that enough? It's not. It's Thomas Davis. And it's not. It's another first down. I don't know how you're supposed to play defense. We're playing man coverage instant pressure up the middle and they still get it off it's gonna be a delay handoff and he's gonna find room in and out moves gains five this clock is dripping away of course if we hold him to a field goal it's still two possession but ultimately uh them getting any sort of points here looks really bad for us and to the outside it's knocked out by fuller who finally wins a matchup against a guy today and they pick it up perfectly. But we pick him up with Ionitis. Really good jump by uh, Sweezy on the sack fumble. But there you go, Ionitis. Aaron Colvin can't get it on the block. So it's going to be a 30-17 game. 
entering almost the fourth quarter. Still a little bit of time. Definitely grateful for that little bit of time. And they're just like covering everything. They just know when we're going to run. They know when we're going to pass. And Gibson's going to get a few, but not much. I mean, I'm almost certain if we came out with a run here, they would somehow know it's coming. Let's get a little wheel there. It's going to kind of intersect with Gandhi, though. Sims is wide open there. Little spin move for nothing, and it's going to be the start of the fourth. So Buda Baker is over there. If he can somehow step in on someone else, which he's not, so that route is basically doomed. Just, I mean, there's nobody open there. I know it's not a great play because it's literally just kind of like a chuck-up play and you hope somebody gets open, but I was hoping maybe somebody would get open after all. Jerry McLaurin's basically been locked down today. We should have taken him. No! Oh, thank God for Sims. Peterson almost just had another pick. Terry McLaurin, please make the throw a little inaccurate. Good catch. We beat him in behind, finally. They do not look ready at all. If we get stopped for anything less than five, I was about to say, I'm suing. Any golden could be our look. Nobody's our look. Hassan's going to run, and he actually looks fast enough to get the job done. Slides. First down. Got a lot of intersecting type plays here. Terry McLaurin could be the look, and he overthrows him. He was open. Definitely. Actually, we're going to change this to a run straight up. They're not They're not really covering the run too much. And we pick up some blocks and a face mask on top of it. Patrick Peterson makes a terrible play. Good job running in there after we almost gained the first, but that face mask is massive. Now we're going to take this quickly because, oh, my Lord, Chandler just keeps winning. I'm going to need to see that from, uh, from some of our players soon. We still have time. We're not going to get too excited. We need our blocker. Moss back in the end zone could be a look. Oh! Almost picked. Did not. I don't know why we didn't see that linebacker there. This is obviously a must-have touchdown drive. Inside, and he misses the throw. We had to run. No, not a field goal. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. We had to run. Linemen were getting... I mean, they got beat again. Are we clutch? Do we have the clutch, Gene? Terry McLaurin gets the touchdown. Clutch, 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 clutch. Great throw. Once again, Chandler Jones wins instantly for like the 30th time today. Don't mind the Cardinals. They started with a... Uh, we should have went for two, by the way. Why didn't we go for two? Totally should have went for two. That's what it is. Ruben, good tackle. Of course, the first uh, play of their drive, they get a first down passing, but it's fine. Second and 12. Seven minutes left. I feel like they can hold on. They, they definitely can hold on, but I also feel like we could make a play. Come on, defense. Chase Young has been locked up. Good tackle by Collins. Huge gain of five, but it's a third and seven. The blitzes haven't worked so far for us, but you got to keep trying until they do. Ionitis, there's the pressure, and Chase Young gets his first career sack in the NFL. Hopefully of many, the clutchest time to get it. He got scared. The, pro the push inside wasn't great, so he backed up, thought he could maybe outrun the edge, and yeah, Chase Young's not the guy you want to try to outrun, buddy. And he now knows that Bryce can't really get much on that. Actually, probably only gets a yard. But five and a half minutes left, down six. Going to go heavy again with Peterson. Our line has done all right outside of going against Chandler. And once again, nothing going for Peterson. Obviously, it's a little tougher when it's almost guaranteed that you're going to run with that look. But still, we've had success in week one doing that. But obviously, this is no longer week one, as we can tell with the scoreboard. And nobody's on Bryce. And no block, but Bryce doesn't need it. Picks it up at the last second. Bryce down the sideline is going to score. They come with the blitz at the worst time. Bryce Love down the sideline just outruns the first man. It wasn't Terry McLaurin's, uh, you know, decision, but it worked out perfectly. Bryce just outruns the first man because he's got his feet planted, and then Terry barely picking up the freaking block for the score. There's now four and a half minutes in the game. They're only down by one, so a field goal obviously gives them the lead. We have been absolutely stuck. 
Kyler's going to run, and he will slide smartly very early, but it's going to be a third and eight now. Do you punt if you're them? I don't think you do, because worst comes to worst, we get a, an eight-point lead. But worst comes to worst for them. Sweat forcing the fumble, and they pick it up. Sweat with his second sack of the game. These outside guys have been very fast, containing Murray at a kind of 50-50 rate. Sometimes Murray wins, sometimes he doesn't. And they're going to play defense, and honestly, why wouldn't you? Their, their offense has played kind of poorly in the second half. Defense has still been great for them. We just made a couple better plays than they did. I mean, hell, their defense has literally scored this game. So we're going to play smart, but we might have to throw it here at one or two times if we want to win. They're not really looking to stop the run too much, so Bryce Love's going to get that carry. Running on the inside here. Gets the little out move and another face mask obviously they're trying to strip the ball but getting a little too handsy the hand slips they grab the face mask and your tack it it was a hold it wasn't even a face mask it was a hold back five yards now that is harsh but it's fine it's fine gibson slips it back inside second 11 might just run it again but we're kind of debating yeah we're gonna run the ball here gibson's gonna get another maybe four manageable third down that holding call really set us back though Let's go to the deep curl again i don't think it really worked for his last time but last time is last time i kind of want to make an in because i feel like love might be left open again he's not wide open is terry mclaurin a little under thrown terry mclaurin slips it to the 29 yard line good play haskins has been a little 50 50 here and there but good play unfortunately going out of bounds not the greatest idea in the world for us but that first down was huge. Let's run the ball. Kind of back inside. Kind of runs a man over to the 21. Gains about eight. Two-minute warning now. Of course, they are missing a timeout. So, you know, hey, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot to hold on. Inside look. Gibson's going to gain about two. I mean, I don't think you throw it here, but I'm really debating what we do. Don't know if I like that side. Can we pick, Can we go to the weak side? Whatever. We're believing. And Peterson's got it. Falls over, though. They're going to call it short. What in the world happened? I suppose to make it dramatic, we're going we're gonna to kick the field goal. They have no timeouts. Under two minutes. 34 to 30. They have to score a touchdown. I think that was the right call. Because their percentage... Ooh, what the hell? Their, their percentage jumps very, very high if we don't get that first down. Yeah, look at the numbers. Kyler Murray... Been accurate all game, but that second half has been very brutal to him. I think the big difference is we slowed it down. Both sides of the ball, really. We didn't really get too worrisome. Instead of going for the big hit, we've been trying to just make the smart tackle. And here, Kyler Murray is just going to run. Really good little cheese, but his guy, not on the same page. Didn't really know where he was on the field. He just wanted to make sure he got the catch. And he did, but sacrificed a lot of yards. And picked off by Darby. Who should just fall down and he seals the game. There you go, Darby. What a play. And we improved it 2-0. And there you go, the 34-30 victory. Cliff Kingsbury is going to have a lot to answer for after blowing that lead. First half, I believe they put up 27 points. And then a whopping three in the second half. Defense obviously improved, but it was still giving up a lot of play, so... They just didn't finish. They really just didn't finish well. We, on the opposite of that, definitely turned it around quite a bit. You know, Haskins finishes with at or more touchdown to pick ratio for the second week in a row. We got to limit those turnovers, and, you know, we can be a really dangerous team. Obviously, lots and lots of uh, big swing-type plays. We had, a, you know, the pick six we gave them and the, the goal liner near the red zone uh, pick. Haskins, 50% completion percentage, but four touchdowns. Unfortunately, three interceptions. Gibson, 15 for 112. No touchdowns, but impressive game there. Bryce Love, 7 for 48. Peterson, 2 for 4. Not great. Dwayne Haskins, 2 for 3. Did have a big uh, second down and four rush for a first, I believe. Of course, that is not as big of a game, but still a decent one, uh, especially against those linebackers. And then Terry McLaurin, another 100-yard-plus game with a touchdown. Bryce Huge, monster, 69-yard touchdown. Absolutely massive. Chase Young gets his first career sack, which is nice. Ruben with a nice 
game saving. Well, I don't know if it was game saving, but situation saving sack. Uh, Matthew Ioannidis, big sack on third down, I believe, and then Sweat with two sacks himself. Darby with a pick, and then unfortunately they had three of them. Kicking was perfect for both sides. Kick returning, punt returning, nothing really noteworthy. I will say I do not want to play any beastly pass rushers anytime soon. We are not ready for that yet, just yet. We do have some upgrades like Sweat and I don't know who the other guy was, but we'll obviously get to those in week three. And remember when I said I want to play uh, an X-Factor or Beastly uh, Edge player? We get to play Miles Garrett next week. Then after that, we get to probably... Uh, Calais Campbell's going to be a problem. Then we get to play Aaron Donald. Yeah, just three straight weeks. Four straight... Five straight weeks of elite pass rush. Great news, right? Super happy about that. But... Oh, the Cardinals were 0-1, so fair enough. Not a super hard team to beat. But 2-0 to start the season. Obviously, very impressive. I mean, that, that first half showed the potential of of where we could be if we don't finish strong. So, you know, if we don't finish strong, that game is a complete blowout of maybe 48 to like 10 or something. Huge, huge second half there. Impressive as hell. And I am proud that we were able to somehow pull that off. Anyways, though, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Like I said, maybe if you did like it, maybe subscribe on the channel, whatever. Follow me on Twitter, don't be care. Regardless, though, thanks for watching. Tomorrow should be probably be a rebuild i might even do a rebuild stream tonight i don't know but definitely definitely come back for more content tomorrow regardless hope you guys come back for next video but until next video see